For centuries, Koreans have believed in the medicinal properties of a folk remedy called jugyam, or in English, bamboo salt. 그냥 주겸은 그 자체가 미네랄 보고입니다. Bamboo salt is ubiquitous in South Korea. It is made by repeatedly roasting salt in stalks of bamboo. Its adherents claim it combats disease, indigestion, and pain. But what's certain is it's not easy to make. 이 주겸을 제조하기 위해서는 이 고온이 필요한데. 이 1,300일 정도 이 시일이 소요되고 대단히 많은 공정과 또 인력이 투입돼야 하는 그런 참 거대한 작업이죠. The definitive method was fashioned in the early 20th century by a famed medicine man named Kim Il-hoon. Near the end of Kim Il-hoon's life, his son Kim Yun-se established a bamboo salt company that preserved and industrialized the family's salt-making method. 이 구입해다가 3년간 간수를 뺍니다. 그 다음에 그것을 이 대나무 통에 넣고 입구에 황토로 봉해서 소나무 장작불로 태웁니다. 그래서 대나무가 타고 소나무 장작도 타고 소금 기둥이 나오면 그걸 빠서 마지막 아홉 번째는 고온 용융로에다가 넣어서 섭씨 1700도로 처리해서 완전 용해된 것을 다시 결정한 것이 바로 주겸입니다. 그래서 한국산 천일염과 소나무와 대나무가 결합돼서 만들어진 한국이 낳은 미네랄의 보물입니다. For Kim, the three-year process is worth every minute. Producing it is a way to honor both this uniquely Korean remedy and his father's legacy. Until 60 years ago, all soy sauce was made like this. And it tasted totally different. But there's a small island off the eastern coast of Japan with a town center called the country of soy sauce. Here, despite a government ordinance to modernize production, a small group of people continue to make it the traditional way. Yasuo Yamamoto is one of those people. え、今日本の伝統的な木桶作りの醤油っていうのは日本で作られる醤油のもう 1% a few of the people who help him, Mr. Sakaguchi, carpenter and craftsman, Ms. Takahashi, head assistant, Ms. Taguchi, head of shipping, Ms. Yoshioka, in charge of soy bottle labeling. Oh, and this is our cab driver. He drove us here. え、うちの醤油はですね、手間と時間はかかるんですけれども、他の醤油と違って、まろやかでコクのある美味しいお醤油になります。うちは他の醤油と同じように大豆 Instead of using steel, he uses large bamboo barrels. And these he has to make himself. These barrels are the main differentiating factor between the soy sauce you know and his. It ultimately comes down to how the soybeans are fermenting inside these bamboo barrels. プチプチと音がして発酵していくんですけれども発酵の度合いはですねその音とかまあいろんなことを見ながら発酵がどういうふうな状況にあるかを判断してこちらでこう混ぜたりします。Traditional commercial production of soy sauce takes only a few months. But for Yamamoto, it takes much longer. Uchideva, Sezo Kote, no Juxe Kanga, Yaku Nine Kakarimas. 
お醤油のこう、えー、製造工程ですけれどもまず大豆を蒸して小麦をいって砕きますでそこへ塩水を合わせて春から夏にかけて発酵していきますその後熟成したものを絞るとお醤油になります It seems like a lot of work to go through for soy sauce, but for Yamamoto, this is what soy sauce is supposed to taste like. So it's all worth it. お醤油作る菌の生態系を次の世代へ残し伝えるのが私の仕事です。Yamamoto-san, whose soy sauce is better? Yours or the big guys? それはもちろんうちのです。Everyone, and welcome to the Sun Glow here in Bicknell, Utah. My name is Bessie Stewart, and today we're going to make our famous pickle pie. Pickle pie is a dessert. It's not the sweetest pie we have, but it is the most original. It took a lot of imagination, I think, to invent a dessert pie with a pickle in it. The original owner found the recipe. In a magazine, she didn't like the recipe at all, so she changed it around. And now the pickle pie is the very best. As far as I know, we are the only place that makes the pickle pie. In pickle pie, you will find sugar, butter, milk, eggs, lemon extract, cornstarch, cinnamon nutmeg, and of course the pickles. So we've got this all mixed in really nice and smooth. So now we're going to pour it into our unbaked pie shell to put in the oven. Scrape the edges so you get all the flavor. And this one right here is one that we baked this morning. Wow, pickle pie. This is delicious. Little tiny bit of cream on it. Just gives it that little bit of sweet and sour that you need to set off the taste buds. So, mm. the customers like the pickle pie, but I think the biggest selling point is curiosity. This looks like a delicious pie. Tastes very similar to a pumpkin pie. It's got a, a hint of well pickle to it. But. It's not like overpowering or anything. Good flavor, kind of sweet. A little sweet. It's like super sweet. It's not really sweet. I think it's gonna sell. Bicknell is a very small little town. We are about three hours from Salt Lake City, and you don't have to live in a great big city to have good food. You have to have pride. And an imagination. It's more than just a pie. It's your work of art. It's something that you have done, and it looks pretty, and it tastes good, and you can be proud of it. Burrowed deep in the bedrock of Real Monte Sicily is one of the largest salt mines in Europe, and inside that salt mine is a cathedral. To find this holiest of underground places, you'll have to navigate 62 miles of spacious patterned tunnels. Concentric circles made five million years ago from the evaporation of an ancient ocean adorn the walls. Lighter rings indicate a hot summer; darker indicate the cool of winter. And deep into these swirling pattern caves, you'll find a cathedral carved out of the salt face by the mine's workers. It comes complete with an altar, steps, and a crucifix. Eight hundred worshippers can fit inside, and the space is consecrated in the name of Saint Barbara, the patron saint of miners. The salt mine itself plays a large role in the local economy. And produces around 500,000 tons of salt each year, but its value to the spirit and the eye is unmatched.
Located in Romania, around 400 feet below the town's surface is the Salina Turta, an underground theme park inside one of the oldest salt mines in the world. Salina Turta is believed to be nearly 2,000 years old. During its time as a salt mine, it is estimated that over 3 billion tons of salt was excavated from the walls before mining stopped in 1932. This underground hub has had various uses in the past, from a cheese storage center to a World War II bomb shelter, but its current usage is perhaps its most unique. In the early 1990s, Salina Torta was carefully converted into a subterranean theme park and museum. This active park includes a 180-seat amphitheater, an underground lake with paddle and rowboats, mini golf course, ping pong tables, and of course, a Ferris wheel. Over two million people have visited since its opening. The dizzying effect of the place will leave you feeling like you've left reality in this subterranean wonderland.